Hey, kid, you're here with a tutorial today on. Uh, this is basically what this pretty much uh, consults with Windows XP, Vista, and um, how to make your own custom boots and shutdown music now, or you know, uh, pretty much you know, customize it yourself. Now I'm pretty sure there's ways to do this in OS 10 and uh, you know Linux and stuff like that, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it in Windows. And you know, for the most part, it should be uh, the same for other OSs. Just you have to go into your, the same settings, stuff like that. And um, as for Vista, I'm going to show it on XP, but if you want to do it on Vista, you just have to go into your control panel and follow the same steps. Just go to system sound, same thing, all the, uh, same thing, and same pretty much interface. Um, so with that, let me get right into it. So first off, you're going to want to go to start menu, and you're going to want to go to uh, control panel. And what I mean by custom, uh, custom, uh, you know, a song or at boot up or shut down is basically, or custom sound is basically, you know, when you shut down or boot up your computer, you get the, you know, the whole Windows theme, and, or the whole Windows boot up sound, you know, just like an Apple, you get the bong, and then for, you know, the shutdown, you get a whole other thing too. Well, um, let me just show you how to change that so you want, it, so you can change it to whatever you want, but it has to be a dot .wav file, so I'll get into that also within the video. So first you want to go to control panel, go in sound and audio devices. And if you're on Vista, just go to sound and hardware. And then you're going to want to go to audio tab. After You'll be on the volume tab, just go over to audio. Oh, actually, sorry, sorry, you're going to sounds tab, sounds. Now don't touch the sound scheme, but you, can, you're already, you already have all your program events right here, so you're on Windows right now. So just stay on Windows, don't change that. Leave it as it is. And so if you, if you accidentally change it, just hit cancel. And so here's your sounds right here. Everything you can change not only start up a boot up sounds, but a whole other thing. So you know when your device connects, like a, you find like a pen drive put in or something like that, and you hear this sound. Oh, it's even playing here. Hang on. Oh, there you go. I'm sure you've guys heard that sound before. Now even you know, or when you hear this sound when it disconnects. For pen drives, you know, you can change all those sounds so you can like put a recording of you going disconnect, connect, you know, all that stuff like that. Or exclamation, you know, when you get Windows error usually. Now, this is exit Windows. This what is what it means by exit Windows by like when you're starting or shutting down your com computer, your Windows XP or Vista, you know, you usually have your regular sound, which is all located in the um, uh, located in the um. Uh, local C disk, Windows, media, and then all your, your all your dot wave sounds, your default media sounds are all there. Well, when I installed the Vista Bricka Pack, it came with a whole bunch of wave files that I left in my folder. I never uninstalled them. So my uh, boot when I you know shut down my computer, this is what plays. And so easy how to set it. You just have to go to it, and then you can. Br browse between all these ones that are in the default folder but if you want to set it to one that you created just with a, a dot wave any song you can yeah like you can even put a song just browse for it find it and your media stuff for your regular you won't have all these vista stuff unless you downloaded them so uh go to local c disk windows media and that's where everything's located but you can get your own custom stuff wherever that may be um and there's and also uh windows startup that would be start windows that's when you boot up the computer you know, you usually get this sound right here. Now, that's the regular sound, but here, let me, let me show you what mine is. That's the same thing, but... The Windows Remix. I'm sure you guys heard that there. Uh, that's the Windows Remix. Not created by me. I did not create that. That's from somebody at Newgrounds, the official author called Electric Guitar Cl Clock. He made this at a... That was all Windows boot sounds, air sounds, all that stuff. And, you know, you, if you search up Windows boot sound, find the one that has the download link. I'll, I'll put the download link in my video description. It's not created by me. I want to give all the credit to Electric Guitar Clock at Newgrounds.com. So I'll give the download link to the for the it's a I believe it's a dot mp3 you're gonna want to convert it to dot wave whatever way you want and I would recommend using the program Audacity to get your Audacity in conjunction with iTunes if you want to listen to it or your media player or whatever but you can record you know your music in here import it and in and in exports 
is dot waves really quick, like within a minute, com you know, depending on your computer. But it's really fast, and uh, you know, it's you have all your audio option tools right here. So as long as it's a dot wave, it can be playable. So you can do a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna be busy customizing all my stuff here. I'm gonna do voice recordings. So you can even do voice recording songs, whatever, guys. It's really cool. Anyways, guys, just want to show you how to set up custom sounds for boots and startups and all that stuff on Windows XP and Vista. So Vista, same thing, just have to go into your, you know, it's just a different interface. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video, and, you know, have fun with it. And if you do want the Windows Remix song uh, that I just played, it will be located in the video description to your right. And again, I did not make it. Anyways, guys, I didn't, I didn't make the Windows Remix song. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for listening. Uh, hope you love the video comment rate subscribe to the video if you really uh subscribe to the video channel if you really like it and again quick notes guys once we hit 350 subscribers i'll be releasing the contest video which will uh start the contest anyways guys thanks for watching